Ray Bork was born in Montreal, Quebec, and has demonstrated skill and reliability at the highest level throughout his career. The Boston Bruins selected Ray with the 8th overall pick of the NHL entry draft, which was their first pick. In the National Hockey League, Bork holds the record for the most goals, assists, and points scored by a defenseman in a career. He was the NHL's top defenseman five times and was the runner-up six times for the James Norris Memorial Trophy. In addition, he twice came in second place in the Hart Memorial Trophy voting, unusual for a defenseman. 19 times, he was selected for the first team and six times, the second team, of the season-ending All-Star teams. In addition to being a member of Canada's Olympic team, he played with the Boston Bruins for 21 seasons, becoming its longest-serving captain in the process. Bork finished his career with the Colorado Avalanche, with whom he won his only Stanley Cup in his final NHL game. As a youngster, Esposito signed a contract with the Chicago Blackhawks. He spent 18 NHL seasons with the Chicago Blackhawks, Boston Bruins, and New York Rangers, winning two Stanley Cups with Boston along the way. He is a member of a high Hockey Hall of Fame. One of the best players in history is said to be Esposito. In 1968-69, he scored 126 points, becoming the first player to do so. He would go on to accomplish this feat five more times. He also set records for scoring 50 goals in a season five years in a row, including 76 in 1970-71, which set a new mark. That season, he also set a new mark of 152 points. He was the league's top point scorer five times times, took home the Art Ross Award five times, led the league in goals six times, was chosen the MVP by taking home the Hart Trophy twice, and was selected as a first-team All-Star center six times. All in all, he recorded 1,590 points in 1,282 games during his NHL career. Legend of the Game One of the best team captains in league history, Sakic was able to inspire his squad to constantly play at a winning level. Joe spent the entirety of his 21-year NHL NHL career with the Quebec Nordiques, nowadays Colorado Avalanche team. Sakic was one of the most effective attackers in the league throughout his career, scoring at least 100 points six times and tallying at least 50 goals twice. The majority of his productivity came from his wrist shot, which is regarded as one of the finest in the NHL since goalies all around the league dreaded his quick snapshot release. Joe was chosen to participate in 13 NHL All-Star games and was three times selected to the center position of the NHL first first All-Star team. Sakic led the Avalanche to Stanley Cup victories in 1996 and 2001. He was recognized by hockey journalists and his fellow players as the MVP of the NHL in 2001. Sakic was also awarded the most valuable player of the 1996 playoffs. He was one of six players who took part in the first two of the team's Stanley Cup triumphs. He also won a third Stanley Cup with the Avalanche in 2022 while working as the team's general manager. Sakic became just the third individual to win a Stanley Cup while playing for and managing the same team. Joe recorded 1,641 points for 1,378 games during his NHL career. One of the finest players in NHL history, but by the sum simply the best. Super Mario was perhaps the greatest player of all time thanks to his mix of power, speed, agility, and innovation. Despite being a big man, Lemieux was a talented playmaker and a quick skater who frequently beat defensemen with fakes and Deeks. Lemieux, who was selected first overall by the Penguins in the 1984 NHL entry draft, helped Pittsburgh win back-to-back -back Stanley Cups in 1991 and 1992. Mario won the Art Ross Trophy for leading the league in points six times, the Hart Trophy for most valuable player during the regular season three times, the Conn Smythe Trophy for playoff MVP in 1991 and 1992, and the Lester B. Pearson Award for most outstanding player, as chosen by the players four times during his NHL career. He accomplished the rare accomplishment in 1988 and is the only player in NHL history to score a goal in each of the five scenarios that may occur. He holds the seventh highest career point total in the NHL among former and active Canadian players with 690 goals and 1,033 assists. Mario sadly was never able to play a complete season and only six times in his career did he participate in 70 or more games in a season, with four of those seasons occurring before the age of 25. He would have unquestionably became the all-time best if he hadn't had major health issues during his career. Steve Iserman, a Detroit sports legend and Hockey Hall of Fame member, is widely recognized as one of the best players of all time. Throughout his playing career, Iserman won numerous awards, including the Bill Masterton Memorial Trophy
Trophy for tenacity, the Conn Smythe Trophy for most valuable player of the Stanley Cup playoffs in 1998, the Selkie Trophy for best defensive forward in the league in 2000, and the Lester B. Pearson Award for outstanding player in 1988 to 1989 and 1988 to 1989, respectively. Steve participated in 12 All-Star games, was a first-team All-Star in 2000, and was a member of the All-Rookie Team in 1984. Iserman, who was named captain of the Red Wings prior to the 1986-87 season at the age of 21, captained the team continuously for the following 20 years, playing as captain for more than 1,300 games, retiring as the longest, serving captain of any squad in North American Major League Sports, with 692 goals and 1,063 assists for 1,755 points. Iserman ranked sixth among all previous or current Canadian players and seventh overall in NHL history. Early in January 2007, Steve's number 19 jersey was retired, and the following year he was honored with induction into the Canadian Sports Hall of Fame. In 2009, his first year of eligibility, Steve was also inducted as a distinguished member of the Hockey Hall of Fame. Steve was included among the 100 greatest NHL players eight years later. From 1971 and 1989, offensive wizard Marcel Dion played 18 NHL seasons with the Detroit Red Wings, Los Angeles Kings, and New York Rangers. As a prolific scorer, he was awarded the Art Ross Trophy in 1979-80 for being the NHL's top scorer. Over his career, he also had eight seasons with at least 100 points and six seasons with 50 goals. At two Canada Cups and three World Championships, Dion represented the Canadian national team internationally. 1992 saw Dion's induction into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Marcel was also included among the 100 greatest NHL players of all time. He amassed 1,771 points, 731 goals, and 1,040 assists during his playing career. One of the greatest playmakers in the history of the National Hockey League, Ron Francis has won several trophies throughout the course of his lengthy hockey career. Francis, who was selected fourth overall in the 1981 NHL entry draft, played 23 NHL seasons for the Toronto Maple Leafs, Carolina Hurricanes, Pittsburgh Penguins, and Hartford Whalers. In terms of career assists, Francis finished second only to Wayne Gretzky, fifth in terms of points, third in terms of games played, and 27th in terms of goals when he retired from professional ice hockey in 2004. Francis won two Stanley Cups during his playing career, both times with the Pittsburgh Penguins in 1990-91 and the year after. Ron made history by becoming the first player to win both the Lady Bing Trophy and the Frank J. Selke Award in the same year. Francis, a four-time All-Star in 2017, was included among the top 100 NHL players of all time. The father and true icon of the game, Gordy made his NHL debut with the Red Wings in 1946. He changed what it meant to be a world-class forward by setting new standards for physical strength, career longevity, and scoring prowess. He is the only player to have competed in the NHL in five different decades. Howe is frequently regarded as one of the best players of all time and the most comprehensive player to ever play the game. He participated in six seasons of the World Hockey Association and 26 seasons of the National Hockey League. Howe won the Art Ross Trophy six times in total, which is the second most in NHL history. Four times, he held the NHL record for goals scored. For 21 straight seasons, Gordy was among the top 10 scorers in the NHL. In 1953, he established an NHL record for points in a season, 95, which wasn't surpassed for another six years. He earned six Hart trophies as the NHL's most valuable player and four Stanley Cups with the Red Wings. Also, he six times held the NHL postseason point lead. His NHL records of 801 goals, 1,049 assists, and 1,850 total points at the time of his retirement remain, until Wayne Gretzky overcame them. A 23-time NHL All-Star, he still holds the NHL record for seasons played, and his all-time NHL games played record of 1,767 was only surpassed in 2021 by Patrick Marlowe. A goal, an assist, and a fight all in the same game, a feat he only accomplished twice in his career, became known as the Gordie Howe hat trick. 
after him. In 2008, he was presented with the NHL Lifetime Achievement Award with three teams, Oilers, Rangers, and Vancouver Canucks. Mark Messier played in the NHL for 25 years. He also participated in the World Hockey Association's Indianapolis and Cincinnati teams as a professional player. Without a doubt, Mark is regarded as one of ice hockey's all-time greats. He ranks third overall for regular season games played and regular season points and second overall for postseason points. Mark is the only player to lead two teams to Stanley Cup victories. He won the Cup six times, five times with the Oilers and once with the Rangers. His playoff leadership while in New York, which ended a 54-year Stanley Cup drought in 1994, earned him the nickname The Messiah, a play on his name. He was also known, over the course of his career, as the Moose for his aggression and strength. In 1990 and 1992, Messier won the Hart Memorial Trophy twice as the league's most valuable player. In 1984, he also won the Conn Smythe Award as the playoffs' most valuable player. He has been an NHL All-Star 20 times. In his first year of eligibility, 2007, he was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame. This guy doesn't need any special recommendations. Some say that he is overrated. Others think that Wayne is hockey icon who is untouchable at all levels and is truly the king of the game. From 1979 to 1999, Wayne played 20 seasons with four clubs in the National Hockey League. Mr. Gretzky is the top goal scorer, assist producer, and point scorer in NHL history. In addition, he has amassed more assists in his career than any other player scored total points. The only NHL player to score more than 200 points in a single season is Gretzky, who did it four times. In addition, Gretzky scored more than 100 points in 16 of his professional seasons, including 14 straight. He held 61 NHL records when he retired in 1999, including six all-star records, 15 playoff records, and 40 regular season records. So who is the greatest Canadian hockey player off all time and why did you choose him? Write in the comments section your opinion and let's debates begin. Thank you for watching and see you soon.